Hello Collector and welcome to a new coin review. Today we take a closer look at these two 1 euro coins. Both coins are from Portugal from 2008 with a total mintage of 5 million coins. At first glance the two coins appear identical, but in reality one of the two coins is worth up to 250 euros. So let us analyze these two coins side by side to see what makes one of the coins so much more valuable. When we look at the left coin, it displays the Portuguese royal seal of 1144 in the center, which is surrounded by 7 castles and 5 coat of arms. In between the 7 castles and 5 coat of arms is the inscription of the name of the issuing country, Portugal, and the year of issue, 2008. The remaining inscriptions in the anaco of the coin are the mint mark of the Mint House of Portugal, which is represented by the letters I and C M, and the mint mark of the engraver, Vitor Manuel Fernandes dos Santos, which is represented by the letters V S. Whereas the coin's outer ring depicts the 12 stars of the European Union. When we look at the right coin, it also displays the Portuguese royal seal the country's seven castles and five coat of arms, the name of the issuing country, the year of issue, the mint mark of the mint house of Portugal, the mint mark of the engraver of the coin, and the 12 stars of the European Union. Now let's take a look at the reverse of the coins. When we look at the left coin, it depicts a geographical map of Europe, which covers the outer ring and the inner coin on the right side of the coin, the inscription 1 euro, the face value of this coin, the 12 stars of the European Union, which are visually connected by six vertical stripes that cut across the inner core of the coin, and the mint mark of Luc Luix, the designer of the Euro's common reverse, which is represented by a stylized combination of the letters LL. And when we look at the right coin, it also depicts a geographical map of Europe, the inscription 1 euro, the 12 stars of the European Union, which are visually connected by six vertical stripes, and the midmark of design of the euro's common reverse. So, where's the difference? Let's look at the maps on the two coins again. If you look closely, you notice that the maps are not the same. The right coin shows a geographical map of Europe, whereas the left coin shows a map that only includes the countries of the European Union before its enlargement on the 1st of May in 2004. And which of the two is the valuable coin? It's the left coin that only includes the countries of the European Union before its enlargement on the 1st of May in 2004. As of 2008, all coins from Portugal are supposed to have the more recent design that shows the geographical map of Europe. This error makes this coin worth up to 250 euros. That was all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, go hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video.